Today on Lions Live, with just a little more than nine weeks remaining in the school year, LHS extracurriculars are in full swing. We're highlighting a few activities to keep on your radar when picking in your schedules next year. Your favorite glimpses into the real world are back. Macy Hill and Riley Bounds join us here today with the newest in global news and pop culture. And finally, we quiz students and teachers alike to see just how smart LHS really is. All of this today on the new season of Lions Live. Good morning, LHS. I'm Mallory Lester. And I'm Drew Dunson. We begin today with the most pressing pop culture gossip in your feed. Here's The Roar with Riley. Hey y'all, it's Riley back with your pop culture news. So recently there's been a social media feud between Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez. From shady TikTok comments to Instagram stories. The girls are not okay. And it's over a man. Can't believe it. Which team are you on? Team Selena or Team Haley? Thanks, Riley. That sounds like a frenemies feud I would not want to be caught in. Be sure to keep checking back with Lions Live to hear the latest drama. Our school has no shortage of electives. There are some I didn't even know existed. This week, we travel to three classes to give you the inside scoop on what they do, how they do it, and how it could help you in the future. Small Animal Management is a class taught by Miss Krebs. Last week, they learned how to give the pups the best haircut. Teachers allowed students to practice their grooming skills on their furry friends, and students learned how to use many different grooming tools and techniques. If you love learning about man's best friend and other small animals, consider adding the Small Animal Management class to your schedule for next year. Next up is Yearbook. Students in this class work with Balfour to create yearbook you know and love. They learn not just how to take pictures, but formatting and editing as well. And students are given the opportunity to attend community functions to take pictures. If you have an eye for photography or love finding beauty in the small details, choose a graphic design course. Finally, theater is a great opportunity to get involved. No matter what your skills are, from tech to set painting to acting on stage, theater has a unique role for everyone. The theater class teaches students about tech theater, sound, lighting, costume design, and acting. And one act play is a great way to step outside your comfort zone, meet new people, and put on a great show. There are so many theater classes to choose from, so consider adding one to your schedule. Especially if you're an underclassman, take advantage of the many elective courses LHS has to offer. There truly is something for everyone. Macy Hill is here now with your latest in global news. How's the world out there, Macy? Hey Mallory, thanks for the update. The U.S. has been experiencing some unusual weather patterns over the past week. The Golden State, often known for its beautiful beaches and scenic countryside, California, has been facing some unprecedented winter weather conditions. After days of unusual conditions, California is now bracing for even more winter weather in the coming days. However, the odd weather patterns did not stop with California. The storms caused tornado warnings to be issued in Texas, Kansas, and Oklahoma, canceling flights in devastating cities across the Midwest. Mallory, back to you. Thanks for the info, Macy, and for telling us about climates around the nation. Now, it's no question we have some pretty smart kids at LHS. Our teachers and students are hard at work in the classroom every day. That's right, Drew. But thinking about the intelligence of our school, I had a very important question on my mind. Are we smarter than a fifth grader? I took to the halls this week to discover just how smart LHS really is. The question is, who is really smarter than a fifth grader? Students? or teachers. What is the longest river in the United States? The Missouri. Good answer. Name the colors of the rainbow in order as fast as you can. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That was good. What's five plus nine minus two? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> good answer. What are the three types of rock? Sedimentary, metamorphic, and 
lava. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Yes. <laughs> True or false, the kangaroo is a marsupial. True. Yes. <laughs> and the initials of the federal agency known as NASA, what does the first A stand for? Aeronautical. Yes, good job. <laughs> and the initials of the federal agency known as NASA, what does the first A stand for? Good answer. <laughs> Whose picture is on the five dollar bill? <laughs> Whose picture is on the five dollar bill? Benjamin Franklin. Good answer. True or false? The kangaroo is a marsupial. True. Good answer. The red shelled insect, often known as the ladybug, is in fact a type of beetle. Yes, how did you know that? Literally the smartest person in this oh. What type of animals live on both land and water? Turtles. So, uh, mammals? Good answer. <laughs> I guess I got my answer. We could all brush up on our trivia skills. That's for sure. Before we close, we here at Lions Live would like to thank Century Printing and the Gear Up program for collaborating with us to create the brand new sets as you've seen in our broadcast today. Absolutely. We couldn't do it without them. That's all we have for you today. Have a fun and safe spring break. We'll catch you here next time on Lions Live.